So this is the grounds of the University of Glasgow. There's also an art museum and a museum here. An art gallery, I should have said, didn't I? So it's one of these nice parks. Well, it's quite a warm day today and it's quite a cooling breeze, you know. There's a magpie. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy. Magpie. So I presume they're accommodation for the students. Um, these buildings here are probably they're the more modern university type buildings. This is all guesswork, so how far this park goes, I really no idea. But seems to be a nice park. And for soon, straight ahead, there is part of the university buildings. So we're in Partrick. <laughs> Partrick, it's a bit like Patrick, but Partrick. Anyway, it's not far outside of Glasgow. It's about £2.10 return from the city. And um, it's three stops on the train. So I presume these are some of the university buildings. And if you look there, there's an interesting church. And so these grounds are quite well kept. And the thing about it, it's a beautiful sky. Mr. Blue Skies. I don't know how steady this camera is, you know. There used to be a program on YouTube where you could stabilize things, you know. It's an interesting house in it, sort of mock, mock Tudor. You know that wood round there, it's called Mock Tudor. So the grounds are very well maintained, aren't they? I heard the two gnomes on the door there. I don't know if you can see them. See if I. Oh, they've got a couple of dogs in there. Oh, one of the ones in the window barking at me. Number two. It's a really interesting place to live, wouldn't it? You know, they've still got the old type bins. Now that these days they all have wheelie bins, so it makes me wonder what happens to the old type bin. You know, they suddenly vanish, and at least I think they were recyclable. Where these modern bins are plastic, and we all have plastic windows in our houses, and so there's the church there, sort of sticking out. See if I can get to the hear the sound of water. I say water sounds very nice as long as it's not coming through your roof. It's very sort of tranquil. So I wonder if the um, on the camera has a stabiliser, maybe not. So 
But that church seems to be up there. How we get there, I'm not really sure. But where there's a will, there's a way. So quite often on these benches, it has to be dedicated by someone in the memory of Caroline MacArthur, this daughter, sister, auntie and friend. So quite often people put these benches there for the loved ones, you know, when they pass so that people can read it, I suppose, like I did, and sort of remember them. All right. There's another one there. So we do have a goal. Our goal is to stay. Seems to be taking the easy route there, doesn't he? Maya! There seems to be like a path people have used to go up there, so... I'll try this way. These times I think, well, I'm glad I never brought my bike with me. <laughs> but then I probably would have got round quicker. To go nowhere. So we'll see if we can find another way. <laughs> so I must study editing. Editing's where you can pause the video and start when we actually get there, but. I'll keep filming. So a friend of mine said, oh, let's keep your videos 10 minutes long. So nine minutes, nine seconds and counting. So we're not that far from the city really, I mean, as I say, three stops on the train and um, I think the, the, se the second stop is the exhibition centre where they have like music, you know, bands, you know, whatever band you're into, we'll probably play at the exhibition centre. And so three stops and two pound, ten pound, two pound, sorry, ten pence is for nothing. So I mean, you could actually live here and that you could work or play in the city centre, it's not that far. <laughs> the thing about my trousers has started to fall down, it's a pain isn't it, because I've lost a bit of weight and I've gone down probably at least one size 
and my belt needs fixing, but... God, you know, if there's any women out there looking for a guy, you know. Got a big house. <laughs> needs cleaning. <laughs> Only joking. So we seem to reach in some point, don't we? There's like buildings here and lots of signposts and it's also like the crossroads, you know? It's not a blue song. Glasgow University. Eight hundred millimeter or meters. So, here we go. Apparently it's up here. Good exercise, anyway. One time I used to smoke cigarettes, you know. And um, I gave up probably five years ago. Probably a good thing. It's no good for the breathing, I think. Also, the price of cigarettes is so expensive, isn't it, now? <clears throat> I don't know what they are, but I think they're either £15 a pack or on the way. It's a £15. And so here it is. The university. So we think they're coming to Glasgow, this is the university. School of Engineering. James Watt Building South. So that's the School of Engineering there. It's a really magnificent building, isn't it, you know? It's almost like a church, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a magnificent building. I mean, to add an old cliche, you don't build them like that these days, but I don't think they do. I mean, why they don't, I don't know. Maybe they're not capable. Maybe they cost too much money. All right. Hi. Oh, they seem to graduate, I think. A lot of people taking photographs in. Thank you. 
So this is all the inner sanctuary of the university. Seems to be plenty of people taking photos. I like this green square. And the seats you can sit down. You can smell the freshly cooked grass. So like a green area you can sit down man. discuss the problems in the world or your love life or whatever. Hi. So they graduated on it. Ah, oh, smashing. Yeah. So there's a wedding here today. Wedding reception had lots of wine ready for the people to arrive, I suppose. There's another green area. It's amazing, isn't it, this building, you know? Matching the money. Seems to have a little basement area there, well. Plenty of people here anyway. I don't know, I think these are tourists. Gilbert Scott Conference Centre. No alcohol, unless you pay for it. Because <laughs> there's plenty of alcohol in there, but it's obviously for the wedding or something, so obviously if you can pay, you can drink. So it's always amazed me at these music festivals. I mean, they say security to stop, you know, looking for bombs, but basically looking for alcohol, and they want to charge you a huge amount for a pint of beer. Last the meal, wherever these are, you know. So, what we might do, we might go to the end here. How far it is, and we'll see actually where it comes out. I say here, it has a major shopping area, a really nice shopping area, and you're only three stops by the train from Glasgow, so I would say maybe less than 10 miles, I would say maybe 8 miles. So there's the bride going in the church. I 
and so that was the wedding I just spotted. Someone's big day, they say. There they are in the kilts. Well, that's a big turnout, isn't it? Actually, most of the guys have got skirts on them in kilts. Yeah. So let's carry on. We're going to the end. There's still more people going in the church there. <laughs> South Campus, Davison's Building, Medical Center. Anyway, there's quite a few things down this road. And there's a sign there, private land. So we can start there. So these are queuing up to go into the wedding. It's amazing, aren't they, these buildings? That could be your little apartment. I wonder how many apartments you could fit in there. At least a couple of hundred, isn't it? I mean, what do they give you these days? 35 square metre. Enough room to swing a cat. <laughs> I mean, they're still allowed to say that, you know. Swing a cat. So I like to point out what you can't say, but even that's wrong, isn't it, now, if you're on YouTube, you know? There's many things, old sayings that, you know, you can't say anymore. So there it is, the University of Glasgow. On a beautiful blue sky, Mr. Blue Skies. <laughs>